Hey guys, welcome. I'm John Novosel Jr. for Go Golf 365. I'm here with my good friend Marcus Westerberg. He's in from Sweden. Marcus is a golf author, entrepreneur. He's played on the European Tour. He's done it all. I call him the Swedish John Novosel. But uh, we're here today to talk about chipping practice and practice in general. Marcus, talk us through what the average person does and what we might be able to improve on. Yeah, so what we see here, John, when we come to the short game area, the standard uh, routine for chipping practice is I got my three balls, sleeve of balls, I pick a target, and then I go one, and then I keep going to the same target, two, and then another one, three. And, and look at those balls, Mark. Go in, that's great chip, right? Yeah, that's, is, pretty, that's pretty good. Is that's it, though? Good. The problem is that this makes me feel good, right? but it doesn't make me better. What I need to do, what you need to do to get better is mix your practice, make it, make it give some variation to your practice because the chip shot is more than just a motion, more than just a motion of swing in the club. It's about predicting what will happen to the ball, reading the lie, reading the shot, reading the green, and when you choose, like you have three balls, what I want you to do now, John, is you pick three different targets. Right. One target far away, one a medium distance, and one really close to get this variation. So every shot you have to read anew and practice this reading skills. Because what I do with my, my three shots in a row, I turn that part of my brain off. Right, because when you get it on the golf course, you're always going to have a brand new chip shot. You're never going to get a chip beforehand to get an idea of what it's going to be like. So what you're telling me is if I go to three different holes, I need to read, I need to turn that part of my brain on, on how to read the, what would you call it, the pre-information or the pre-setup? Exactly, exactly. Beautiful. Okay, so here's your, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go get your three balls. You're going to pick out three different holes, chip to those different spots, and basically look at your performance from that, not just how many, many balls you can get close to one hole, right? Exactly. So give that a try next time you go chip. And let me know in the comments how you do with it, but I can guarantee it's going to help you out on the golf course where it counts. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you.